10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Good evening. Hey. It's Wednesday night, the hour of power prayer. For the world. ICF Rome, and we are waiting on you to jump online and be a part Rick. of this great night. Yep, and you are going to start us with the scripture in just a moment. Why don't you just greet some people, ask them how their day was. Hey friend, how are you? I don't know who just jumped on. I don't know who just jumped on. Text me to tell me you jumped on. Yeah, talk to us in the chat. Say, hey. Hey, how are you tonight? It's Jen watching from Rome. <laughs> well, I can't say that, but I'm in Rome. Come on, tell us who you are. Tell us what you're doing. All you that just logged on, type over there so I can see who's in there. Oh, I moved There's the wrong Shirley. thing. Hi, Shirley. <laughs> oh, I moved the wrong button. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Ciao, tutti. It was so good seeing all the kids and the family. Wish I could have hugged Sunday. them little kids. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Hey, we're signing in tonight so I could see who I'm praying with tonight. So log in there. Hello, Hi. Miss Audrey. Boy, you're on a... Valentine uh, Ramon. Hi, welcome. Hi, Boriana. Thanks for joining us while you're on the seaside uh Refreshing time. That's awesome. Courtney. Hey, Courtney. <laughs> I ain't saying no weird pig thing. That <laughs> That's you, a football thing. You Courtney, Arkansas people as weird as weird can be. <laughs> or the Ohio Buckeyes who are kind of nutty. <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, y'all. Good to see you, my brother. Good to see you. Didn't get to see you Sunday. <laughs> you skipped church. He was in class, though. He was in well, class. Well, get on the train and get to church. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to start, and I'm going to get to uh, share some things, but Pastor's going to start us off with a scripture. The word of the Lord is so powerful when we're praying. It's not our words. It's the word of the Lord that we pray and petition heaven for. Amen. So I picked this scripture tonight because of some order of how we're going to do our prayer time, but Philippians 4, 6, Philippians 4, 6. Six, do not be anxious. What a opening statement to something that's going on in our world. Do not be anxious about anything. I'm just telling what the Bible says. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to petition heaven. With thanksgiving, in a moment, Pastor Jen's going to give you a whole lot of praise reports from people that has had some answers to prayer in the last number of weeks. Present your requests to God. So I'm going to read it all together now. I won't break it up. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Amen. So Lord, right now we ask that you would be with us. And as we begin to start this time of petition with thanksgiving, we pray God that people's faith would arise, that they would recognize that their faith can move those mountains in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we have seen you do it before and we will see you do it again Yes, because your word declares it's already done. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I'm going to say some things that we're thankful for. Hi, Lenora. Lenora is going to win a prize on Sunday if you're in church at 11 o'clock sharp. She's been one of the first people to register online every Sunday for the last two Sundays. So that's awesome. Yes. Uh, hi, Helen. Um, so... Thanksgiving. I would love for you to type what you're thankful for. Our chat is on this side tonight, but type something that you're thankful for, that you are coming into the throne room tonight first with Thanksgiving. 
So while you're typing in some of those chats, I want to tell you some of the things that we're thankful for. We praise God for uh, for ICF Rome and the reopening on Sunday. Yay! <laughs> finally reopened. Woo! We got to do some elbow bumps from a distance. Uh, from a distance. From a distance. And we wore our mask and our face shields. And we only had a one-hour service that was so hard for someone <laughs> well, but just to business. be together to lift our hands together and to praise together um, even for those that were watching online we have had numerous messages this month but especially since last Sunday's message three or four really powerful emails saying thank you the word of the Lord about faith healing my mental my anxiety my stress levels that that message ministered literally around the world around continents and so i'm thankful for technology i'm thankful for the tech team that has helped in all of this so that these messages could go out both live and online we have multiple campuses now in ecuador people were watching and um it's just really Maybe. been amazing 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 so give some thanksgiving so i am that, those well, are the things. we gotta get to prayer <laughs> we have been praying if you remember back in february actually when i left for 10 days haha -ha, for our granddaughter juliana who all of her blood work was very, very terrible in the in the negative red, red, red zones. They weren't sure if she was going to have to go in the hospital, what was going on in her blood system. And yesterday she had her blood work and they sent back everything that maybe one or two is right in the middle of the green zone, which means perfectly normal. Everything has improved, much, much improved. And like I said, 98, 95% is normal. She is like a new child. So we praise God for touching blood work. Now listen, I believe that there are times when people have a blood result. Uh, blood work is done and that's when the doctors give a diagnosis. But we're telling you, we had bad, bad results in the blood work in February. And here we are in June saying we have a good, good, good answer to prayer for Amen. blood work. Amen. So I hope that will increase your faith. Don't worry what the doctor says. Right. It helps us know what to pray for. And God is the author of the miracle. I also want to praise God for many who have graduated. We just saw another one, Maria. We know that Davide and Solomon did excellent in their exams, and I'm not sure where they are in the graduation of timing and all of that, but I am thankful that people are still graduating. They're still finishing their online right. schooling. They didn't quit. Um, God helped you, and you succeeded, and you finished. You accomplished that, so we rejoice with you, and we're going to have a party. I don't know when or how, but we're going to have a party and celebrate those good things. I also want to praise God for um, the opportunity that Pastor Rick had last week to speak. Thank you, Brother James, if you're watching, uh, to speak to the CDC, the Center for Disease Control of the Africa Union on faith-based communities response in crisis. Wow, what an opportunity. What a privilege. The entire continent leaders for the CDC and many government leaders was a part of that webinar. And then people from all over the world were participants. And I got to speak on how that it's time for the church, it's time for faith-based uh, organizations to step up and uh, do something. And I got to preach a little bit. and. Uh, got uh, some great responses and um, you know god put you in a position i was telling my friend before we went live here uh in chicago i god puts you in a position and he gives you an opportunity and we've got to take advantage of our opportunities we can't say no i'm too busy no i can't do it you've got to take advantage that god has set you in a position to speak to many, many nations. Whoever many. you're influencing, whoever is around so you. So I'm grateful, grateful to our brother James that uh, set that up in our church. 
and um, the United Nations organizations that were a part of that. Yes, and it was really it was great. It amazing, was great. Amazing. So <clears throat> I also want to last week, I believe we prayed for our colleague Brandy, who is a pastor in uh, maybe I did it on Thursday, but she's a pastor missionary in Barcelona and she's recently been diagnosed with breast cancer. We're still praying for Brandy, but she had surgery last week and she's already, I mean, like within a day or two, she was out of the hospital. She's got three small children, and but her faith is strong and we thank God for being with Brandy in that surgery. And we're believing God that he's gonna give wisdom and strength and fortitude Amen. in this process as well. Now, you know, on Sundays, Pastor Rick does not like normally, in a normal service, when we have time, he does not like announcements, announcements. <laughs> but that's how we know we're having fun. Oh, it just yes. takes forever. Because <laughs> he wants to preach Jesus. But I have some announcements that are part of my Thanksgiving. Because can you imagine? How did you fit that in? <laughs> can oh, you imagine? Mama Mia. Listen, can you imagine that in a time when we're at home doing online prayer meetings, online Zoom, online services as well, that we still have a variety of announcements to say that we're doing. Oh my. It's because of all of the amazing people, technical people, everybody that's working. So here's what I want you to know. Tomorrow, Thursday Connect Online at noon, our dear friend, Pastor Shannon Fouts from Oklahoma, has some amazing Thanksgiving testimonies and faith boosters for all of us. You don't want to miss it. Shannon and her team were supposed to be with us for a big conference in Rome in late April, early May. But even though that was canceled, her heart is still for the heart of our people from ICF Rome. So that's Thursday. That's a friendship connection where we're lifting and encouraging one another. Saturday, say Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, everybody with kids, Joel, our kids ministry leader, has put together a Google Meet and the kids are gonna do crafts, they're gonna do activities. And this is actually, we need your kids to be in there because this is a practice. We're gonna do online kids camp. We're gonna do some interactive stuff coming up in July. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be amazing. So this is your lead in, parents, grandparents, Get your kids online so they can practice. This is kind of a setup for something we want to do later. And uh, so sign them up. They'll send you the links and all how to get on those Zoom uh, services. And Boriana, I know you're on there. You could even type in how McKaylee, her son, has been doing the crafts on Sundays and watching. It's really been so fun. Something else I'm thanking God for. You know, the Bible says we have not because we ask not. He said, if you'll ask anything in my name, I will do it. Well, we have really been needing to have another opportunity for the teenagers, the young. We have amazing young adults. They've been meeting every Friday night, I think every Friday night. Um, they've had game nights, Bible studies. They've just really clicked in. They're all used to doing Zoom as well through work. Um, but we need something for the teenagers. So get ready, drum roll. I prayed. Pastor Rick said, let's ask. Those of you that know, Casey Nochi, our dear Italian friend who was with us in Italy for a period of time, actually wrote a lot of our curriculum organization for Kids World. He is a youth pastor, young adults pastor. He's a book author, and he has agreed to do, uh, I'm going to be meeting with him tomorrow, but five to seven weeks, something like that, of Zoom teens next generation so that is something i thank god for he knows our heart casey's fun he's funny he loves to cook he loves musical theater he's italian he loves sports he pretty much loves everything and he especially loves jesus um the kids are going to love him your teenagers are going to love he's him. a phenomenal worship leader as well but you'll see and hear more about that but i'm thanking god that even in the midst of we have less people coming um, we had people that were in line to be with us even right now, and they can't get here yet, but they're working on it. I know you're watching. Um, in the meantime, we're thankful that God has put on Casey's heart to help us with this process. So and praise your God kids, for that. I'm just telling you, he is, he is like a, a magnet. Your kids, when we had him here in Rome, 
the kids mini, our youth ministry was just incredible and uh, the 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 young people really appreciated and so what it meant was the parents really appreciated the ministry that was being offered so uh it'll be fun exciting but in the bottom line your kids will be encouraged be in their faith amen so a couple other things i'm thankful that we have a food pantry and i'm thankful for veronica who's our grocery food pantry uh team leader who has maintained connection with different people even during this quarantine, lockdown, making sure that if they needed something, she got groceries to them. So I want you to know that we have grocery distribution available. You can register online. You'll see those graphics on the on the Facebook page. Or if you know someone that attends our church, we don't have enough for everybody yet in the city, but if they attend ICF Rome and they're faithful and we know they're part of our ICF family and they are in Rome, they can get um, groceries and we want you to take advantage of that but Please we need you it. to register so we will have time to go and get any extra that we need but i want to tell you how important every aspect of ministry is so audrey i know you're watching audrey helps us do graphics audrey helped us make a graphic that said food distribution i send it to veronica and say anybody that you know make sure you send this to them today a precious lady came in. We're going to pray for her, Margarita. Margarita's husband passed away during this COVID period, not from COVID. He had been having cancer. Uh, but do you know, she told me today in probably three months, 90 days, this was only the second time she had been out of her house. And she found out that we had groceries mm -hmm. and she needed some. And they were, they were retired. And so... Um, she needed some help and she came and got groceries. But more importantly, Salome, who translates for me, was there. And the three of us through translation talked about what, what's happening when you're grieving and how the Holy Spirit helps you. If you know Marguerite, you know that she's full of joy. She's been in our fashion show for the women's thing. I want you to pray for Marguerite. She, she said that today is only the second day and her husband passed away early in the, in the whole lockdown. So today's only the second day. She said, I even had tears in my eyes. And she said, but it's mm. because I feel like my soul is getting washed mm. because of groceries. It's never just because of a graphic, Audrey or Cherry, who's putting it out there. Alex, Mary, all of you, Helen, Eunicia. But listen, today, Marguerite had her faith increased and she felt the love of the Lord. She came in with tears, but she went out with a smile and a backpack full of groceries. And she said, I don't know how to register online, but please sign me up. Me and my daughter will be at church on Sunday. Hallelujah. So there is a ripple effect when we serve the Lord, when we pray, when we offer our skills. Uh, we say, maybe I can't do this, but I can help coordinate. You know, Veronica works a lot. Um, she can't always get there on Wednesdays, but she is able to be there on Sundays. And she said, Pastor Jen, I'll do this. And it's been phenomenal. So God may be speaking to you during this time that maybe you thought you couldn't do this, but now you can do something else. And so I want you to know God is on the move and we praise God for what he's doing. And then the last three things before we begin to pray for the world. Wow. Pre-service prayer is still happening on Sundays. Because of technology, you can log in to the pre-service prayer Zoom class from your home before you ever come out. In safety, you can pray. It doesn't matter if you're talking out loud. You can pray with them in the Zoom class, and then you, they're finished in time for you to still have an hour to get to church at 11. And the same thing is true of our Connect to Grow. If you have never taken Connect to Grow with Dr. Anna Lardy and her team, you need to do it. It's phenomenal. She, she, loves, she loves teaching and discipling people. And Connect to Lead, Pastor Rick taught the first lead class, and now Emanuela, also an amazing United Nations leader is going to be teaching this next Connect to Lead. It's not just so that you can lead in your church, whether it's ICF Rome or another church, but it's really about what does it mean to have the mindset of a leader so that God can use you where you are. And to have Emanuela teach you when she is 
<clears throat> an amazing leader for the for the UN agencies. Amazing. So I praise God for all of these things. I've seen people praising God for grace and mercy, for their family, for their marriage, um, for God doing mighty things in their lives. I rejoice with you. And so as we come to petition the Lord now, we do thank him for all of these things and so much more because he hears our prayers and he moves on behalf of what you've asked him. Amen. So let's just start right now by thanking the Lord for answering prayer. Maybe you have been one of those people God answered your prayer or, or in anticipation. Let's enter in with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank, thank you, you tonight. Jesus. We thank, thank you Lord, that you Jesus. hear our prayers, you thank respond you, to our prayers. All these people oh, and these ways that they had their prayers answered. Oh, Even you, in the Jesus. midst of losing oh, a husband award, you, you were there to give comfort yes, and how Lord you worked God. all that thank out. For God, detail, for students God. that graduated, yes, for God. people that thank got you, jobs, Jesus. for people that got employment yes, when they were looking, for people that got documents in the midst of COVID, Lord. God, I thank you, Lord, for what you, you have Jesus. been doing. Thank you, thank you for letting us reopen thank our church. Yes, and God, God, all thank the people you, that got to come to church Sunday. Yes, God, thank, thank, you, thank you for Jesus. that. Thank, thank you for the you, people Jesus. first time out of their house came to church on Sunday in three months. Thank you, yes, Lord, for doing Lord God, that for those people. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for thank each Lord and every God. answer to these <laughs> prayers that we've mentioned, or even the ones that were typed in the uh, lines here tonight. Thank you for each one of them. So, Lord, tonight, team, we always start with our world. We're going to start with our world again. We're going to pray for our world. If you've been watching the news today, in South Africa, COVID has... Uh, kind of wreaks some havoc there in the last couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to pray for COVID and some of the things that are happening around the world with that. We're still praying for um, countries that are having some turmoil within their, their those countries. And those are too numerous to mention tonight. But let's just pray as we always pray. Peace. Yes. on earth. Yes. Okay, so let's take these yes. first few moments and oh, pray for peace Father. in the world and pray Jesus, for the nations that Jesus, COVID Jesus. is wreaking havoc <laughs> with right now. Lord, we thank you, God, that you're going to listen to our petition thank tonight. You, we are petitioning Jesus. you on behalf of thank nations you, that thank God you, COVID Jesus. virus has attacked Hallelujah. and they are losing people and oh, the pandemic Jesus, has been Jesus. terrible. We God, help, stop help, it. help, Arrest help. In the name of God, Jesus. in the name of Quench Jesus, it, Lord I God, ask in the name you, of Jesus. God, I ask you for the oh, leaders, oh God, Lord, to have to wisdom to know decisions. what to do. I pray for the Put medical people, of Lord. Help them, Jesus, person, Lord to God. make sure there's protection, God, there for help those our nations, bodies to resist those people, this virus Lord. In the name God, of I Jesus. pray for those that are going after the, the viruses and oh, trying to attack them. Oh, you, Lord, I thank pray you. in the name of Jesus, you will help them on the front lines yes, of this Lord. pandemic, oh, Lord. Yes, Protect Lord. them, oh, Lord. Yes, I pray Lord. for the countries that are going through turmoil right now yes, and they're Jesus. struggling even amongst yes, themselves. Jesus, oh, God, I just pray that there will be peace. God, I pray for the couple countries that are considering war against each other. God, I pray right now, tonight that their leaders will make a, a determination they're not going to go to war. They're going to go back to the table to discuss peace. God, I pray that in the name of Jesus. God, somehow undertake, let the churches of that those countries stand up and be counted for, O oh Lord. Let the ones that are even in the underground churches, O oh Lord, stand up and, and pray. O oh Lord, thank you, Lord, that you're hearing our prayers tonight as a group of people from around the world that we're praying for our world. Peace on earth. Peace on earth, I pray. Father, in the I name of you. Jesus. I thank you for so many hallelujah, pastors hallelujah, and spiritual leaders hallelujah, and, hallelujah. and people in congregations that are people of thank influence, you, Jesus. not only at ICF Rome, but the Fellowship of European International Churches, the churches around the world in various different countries. We know, God, they've been writing to Thank us. They've been Lord. talking to Thank us. You, These are Christian believers that because of turmoil in their country and because of their status, you have placed them at the table of decision. Yes. And yes. so, Lord, we thank you and we pray blessing and wisdom and favor and, and the ability to articulate good plans, 
good ideas, Lord God, that have good godly values in them. I thank you, Lord God, for so many, not just in our church, but so many around the world, Lord God, that they would realize yes. they are among influential people. Those who are working with university students, professors, God, they are on the front lines. These are the ones who are coming up with ideas. And so, Lord, let them not just think that they're just at the university, but God, that they will realize as you have placed them in the world in this spot right now for yes. a strategic time and so lord we pray for yes, the believers yes, 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 around yes. the world that are being a part of solutions yes, yes, on so yes, many levels lord, lord god yes, lord. that they would exemplify the character of christ they would yes, exemplify lord, the yes. love of christ they would share the peace of god and the hope of eternity Alleluia, with those that are around Alleluia. their table God, even when Pastor Rick was speaking to the CDC of the African Union and they asked him specifically, what does faith have to do with it? What an open door, God. This was about the virus. This was about medical. This was about physical. But those leaders asked the faith community, what does faith have to do with it? So God, I you know. have put people at that table who can say, I know what faith has to do and how faith can move these mountains Hallelujah. of turmoil away, cast them down and destroy the strongholds. We thank you, yes, God, that you are bringing victory tonight, in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against these strongholds yes, right Lord. now. I felt yes, it Lord. earlier today when I was praying. If you have a heavenly prayer language, there is a satanic attack upon the body of Christ. There is a spiritual, a deep spiritual battle going on, not just in one country. It is toxic around the world. But listen, God is calling his people to rise up, to call him blessed, King of kings and Lord of lords. So right now, if you have a prayer language where we can pray, not my words, not my language, but the language of heaven, I want you to pray for a moment to intercede and bring these demonic strongholds down. They are defeated in the name of Jesus. Father, you said when my people pray, when they call on heaven, I will heal their land. So Holy Spirit, we are asking you to descend. Send the warriors from heaven in the angelic realm of spiritual warfare. God, send your warriors from heaven to defeat the enemy's attack, to stop the darts and the spears and the lies and the destruction. Yes, yes, oh God, yes, we thank Lord. you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this few moments that we've got to spend <coughs> praying for our world. I know you've heard every one of these people's prayers, Lord. Every one of them, you've listened to them, Lord. Every one of them, you've you've heard every one of these people's prayers, Lord. Every one of them, you've listened to them, Lord. Intently, you care about that. And God, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we've had to call on your name. And we thank you for Jesus answering all these prayers in your holy name. Hallelujah. Now, as we move to, we're going to do some individual prayers right now. And then we'll go to Italy. We'll just do it like we've been doing it. And so if you have a prayer need, we know a bunch has already texted in some prayer needs and written some emails. And feel free, if you've not done that yet, to either... If you feel comfortable to post it, if you don't feel comfortable, you can send it to the, the to the links and they'll be posted there as well. I'm getting and, the ICF emails as we're talking. And the email to ICF Rome is there for you. Uh, one of the kids post that again for any of our new friends and say that in Italian as well. Benny, I see you're there helping Amen. with the translation. Amen. Thank you for that. And uh, so let's go with some prayer, individual prayer needs. What I'd like to do first on this is I'll let her list uh, a few of them. Then we're going to pause and we're going to pray for them. And when we get to this section, maybe you're new tonight, we actually pray intently for the needs that have been called in, written in, called in, whichever way. And so we're going to pray. So you feel free to do that. So here's another testimony, Thanksgiving before the petition. Um, a family wrote in to pray for a young Italian 
young lady named Isabella. Isabella, I don't know if you're watching, but we've been praying for you. They were watching and we began to pray that God would help. Then they wrote again and said, can we get connected with Isabella? Can Isabella got connected with the young adults. And on last Friday, Isabella was part of the young adult group. And when she arrives in Rome after being gone, she already has a friend group of Christ followers that are gonna surround her with love. That's what happens. So as you pray, as you hear someone's need, you type it in as well. I'm praying for. Um, so tonight, many of you know our dear friend Debbie Thomas that was with us for a couple years and then came back again for a summer. Debbie lost her sister uh, this morning or last night and her sister passed away. And so can we pray for Debbie Thomas and her family as the they grieve the, Holy Spirit. the loss of this yes, sister? Yes. And you know, with COVID, it's very hard when people have lost their yes, loved ones. Yes. It magnifies so many problems and, and hurt and pain. And so we are gonna be holding you up, Debbie. I, sometimes Debbie watches after because of time change, but we are holding you up at the Holy Spirit will comfort Debbie Thomas. I also want you to pray for, we have someone not at liberty to give his name, but a, a man who is recovering from surgery. So God, we are praying for this man and others that we know that are recovering from surgery, that the results will come good, that he'll be strong, he will rally. This, this man is already home from the hospital, so we praise God for that. But if, if you or someone you know is recovering from surgery, we are praying for that that there would be a recovery, uh, an accelerated recovery. Yes, yes, yes. That what the doctor said would take months and months uh, is actually expedited and God heals quickly. Um, also, for those who are now quarantined in home, many, even here in Rome, I got a message from someone because of various things, had to suddenly go into quarantine for 14 days because of some uh, situations. So I want us to pray for those who have now been realized that they have to stay home again uh, for 14 days or they've been quarantined. Many of, uh, of our fellow pastors and colleagues around the world are having lockdown even now in India. Benji and some of our students, Johan, we know that it's not um, the best in your area where you are. So we're praying for those who are now locked down in quarantine that they will not be discouraged that they will be encouraged in their time in the Lord and with the word. And then also we are praying for those who um, are facing surgery. So not only recovering surgery, we have some that are have surgery coming up and those who are traveling this month. Um, you know, it's summer and people have plans. And even though maybe their plans are different, we're praying that as you travel, that God will put a hedge of health around you and your family, wherever you are, airport, train, cars, that God will protect you, protect your vehicles. I pray for a hedge of protection every time we get in a car. And so for those okay. that are traveling. All right, so that's a short list. So let's individually, yes. you just start praying Thank for any Lord. one of those or all of them. And you can follow in the chat too. And, and, and they're the there list. listed Thank as you, well. Lord. Thank you, Lord, Lord we Jesus. pray right now in the name of Jesus you, for Lord, each God. of these that have been mentioned. <laughs> God, for the groups of people, oh Lord, that are having surgery, I'm praying for them right now, God, that you will undertake, let those doctors have great wisdom. God, I pray that there'll be no complications and the surgeries will go without any problems. And God, I pray for those that have had surgeries. I pray that there be a speedy recovery. What was, what was meant to be a number of weeks will be shortened because the process has speed, sped up. And Lord, I pray that in Jesus' name. Renew their strength. Renew their energy. Yes. Let there be no infections, O oh Lord. Let there be no complications. Let there be speedy recoveries, I pray, in Jesus' name. I pray for those that have been locked down. because transferred to countries or even here in Rome. Lord, those that are in quarantine, help them. Give them peace. Let them relax in this uh, this portion of time that they have to be in quarantine. God, protect them as well, I pray. And I pray that you will help in this situation in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Those that are traveling, oh Lord, I pray we've got messages of those that will be even traveling this week. God, help them, I pray protect their families, protect them on their uh, 
flights or their transportation by car or train, however they're going, God protect them, I pray, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And we're going to segue in just a minute after this time to pray for Italy, uh, our country. That, that's what we do next, right, in Rome. Um, so I want you to know that as we've started to go out, even in a couple of days, I still cooked. What did I cook tonight? Oh, my tacos. I, I cooked tacos, so I did cook. But as we've gone to a couple of these restaurants, it's been such a joy as the because he knows all the restaurant owners. They literally run and you try know, to hug, me. but but social distance, so it's kind of like an air hug with the elbow or whatever. Um, but a couple restaurants, many of you know, DeSalvo's on Marconi. He asked us specifically, Pastor, would you pray for Praise. the recovery of my restaurant business because they were closed for two months? He's a young man who took his family's business and kept it going even in this time period. So we're going to pray for the owner and the workers of DeSalvo Restaurant. That's They asked specifically, and we are going to pray for DeSalvo Restaurant. Another one that we go to, many of you that know us in Rome know we call it the pink restaurant because they used to have pink tablecloths. It's just around the corner from our church. But it's actually called La Rota Pizzeria. Mama of the restaurant has won numerous awards. <laughs> Great food. Pastor Rick loves the food. Uh, it's a family business. Um, Dad is always right there handling all the finances. And uh, as we went in there on Sunday after church, they were so happy to see us. But pray for us. It's been hard because we were closed for so long. So we're going to pray that God would multiply and return these businesses as people maybe, you know, they buy something. But then we also bought food to take home just to buy something extra. Just to um, help them. So we're going to pray for these businesses. Another one today, Pio, a man in, on our street that owns the lavenderia, he, the wash, the laundry, laundry mat, we call it, but it's called lavenderia. P.O. said, you're open. I can come because I'm closed on Sunday now. I'm just open a little bit. He said it's been hard to pray for his mother. She's not well, um, but it's okay. So we're going to also pray for P.O. and the laundry restaurant, okay? So those businesses are three that we know. If you know a business that needs prayer specifically, you can type that in the chat and we will continue to pray for those business owners that they will not be discouraged, that they will not get overwhelmed right. with what the books say, what the finances say, but that they will be encouraged. And if you are a believer and you go to a restaurant, show grace, show mercy, talk about love and hope be and generous. joy, um, let them know that it's we'll be praying for you and God will restore. The Bible is a promise. He'll restore what the locust has tried to right, steal. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to pray okay. for them. Hallelujah. Lord, we Thank pray you, right Jesus, now for, for all of these owners. business owners. <clears throat> God, I pray they've been a blessing yes, to Jesus. our church, our people. Yes, they've Jesus. been a blessing to our family. And I just pray, Lord, you'll Thank bless you, them. Yes, Take care of their needs. You, Jesus. God, just Thank like they're Jesus. being customers that they never even yes. thought would start coming in. Thank and they you, would Jesus. start uh, yes, uh, reviving you, the economy yes, here Jesus. in Rome. Yes, and so, Lord, as we Thank open you, up Jesus. now to start praying for Italy yes, and Rome, yes. God, I pray yes, right Lord now, God, I pray Jesus. that a spiritual you, awakening you, happens Jesus. for our country. Oh, yes, God, God, Italy needs a revival. Talk about God. God, Rome <laughs> needs a spiritual. Jesus. They're asking oh, for thank prayer. You, God. They're not thank asking you, other churches yes, for prayer. Lord They're God. asking us thank for you, prayer. God. Because thank they know you, we God. believe in prayer you, and Jesus. we see the answers to the prayers that yes. we pray. So Hallelujah. God, I pray for the generosity of people yes, on these God. businesses. Jesus. God, I pray for Pio's thank business. You, God, I pray thank for you, that Jesus. laundromat to just thank boom you, with thank many Jesus. more customers yes, than he ever God. even dreamed thank would start Jesus. coming in there. God, I pray for those restaurants. Mm -hmm. God, I pray for our government mm -hmm. officials today, oh Lord. Help them here, our prime minister in Italy, as they make good decisions that will help the economy of this country. Lord, I thank you for the, the way the, the, the European Union has uh, sent some funds to help our country. Lord, I just pray that we will be a, a country that comes back Lord, from the COVID-19 pandemic and the issues and the complications. And Lord, I just pray it will come back in 
full vibrancy, better and greater than it's ever been. May the best days of this country still be in front of us. Oh, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. It has a history of turmoil and wars and, and other complications, oh, Lord. I pray that, God, we will be a nation that turns to you and that, God, we will seek your face and that we, your people, will cry out and there will be a spiritual revival Hallelujah. a renewal of souls people will come to a saving knowledge they don't won't just ask for prayer they will ask for a life change to happen and god i pray for the salvation god of all these business owners yes. i pray that you will change their lives change the destiny yes. of their lives i pray that they too god will be on their journey towards heaven i pray it in jesus thank name you, and i thank, thank you lord you, for thank hearing you, our jesus. prayers and answering our oh, prayers yeah. tonight now i'm going to list some names and if a name strikes you um, i might not be able to spell them all or but you can still write it in the chat that you're praying for this these are a number of emails and messages that have been sent in saying pray for me i want to believe in jesus i want to um I need God in my life. I want to be a part of the ICF Christian family. So um, some of them didn't give very specific things, but pray for me and here's my name. So we're praying for Celine. Celine, if you're watching tonight, we're praying for you. The Lord knows your name. He knows where you live. He knows what you're listening to and what you're facing. And he has victory ahead. Daniel, we're praying for Daniel tonight. Mohammed, we're praying for you. We're thankful that you know Jesus, that you have seen Jesus' face in your, in your heart, in your spiritual mind, and you want to be in the family of God. So we're praying that God would surround you with his love and that you would know the Bible is true. And it's a, it's a roadmap for your life. We're praying for Pastor Neil. Pastor Neil, we're praying for you. We're praying for your family. We're praying for those places Hello. where you didn't have a job. We're praying for you. For Mary Duda, we're praying for you. I just believe God has something so wonderful ahead for you. And the enemy likes to push down right before we're about ready to push forward. And so I'm going to say that again. The enemy likes to push down right before we're about ready to push forward. So when you feel that push down, you push forward in victory in Jesus' name. Kavitha, we're also praying for you, that God would help you and be with you, that you would know the love of Jesus. So I'm going to say them one more time. Celine. Daniel, Muhammad, Pasunil, Mary Duda, Kavitha, we are praying for yes, you hallelujah. that you will know the love hallelujah, of Christ. Hallelujah. And we're praying for Rebecca. Rebecca is one who's had physical condition. Her parents live in Spain. And so we are praying for Rebecca that these symptoms of uh, problems in her female organs would go away in the name of Jesus and she would be healed. Thank so, you, Lord, Lord, we lift up these individuals to you right yes, now. Lord. The ones yes, that Lord. we know, the ones that we don't know well yet. And we thank you that you are touching yes, them, Lord. that they Heal are them. reaching out God, for help, that they recognize they're not alone, them, God. Lord God. Protect Holy them. Spirit, God, sweep into their room when they're in. watching these prayers and God, let them know. I thank it's you, like Lord. God is listen, saying, I God, heard you. Right now I'm listening. Later, oh God. I'm, thank you, I'm Lord. blessing you. Thank I'm you, putting Lord. your blessing in motion, the Lord says. Thank you, So Jesus. we thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. And as we were praying, I also felt that there are a number of people in some of these places that their countenance, they've lost the shine. Uh, I found a fun shirt this week at the market. It said, don't let anybody steal your shine. You know what? The enemy is trying to steal your shine for Jesus. The Bible says, shine your light bright. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Not be. It cannot be hid. So right now, I am praying for you. If you feel like something in the last few weeks, maybe even today, has caused something to try to steal your shine for Jesus. Right now, Holy Spirit, I pray that the peace of God the peace of God would fill that room where that person is listening. Fill those headphones right now. There's been turmoil. There's been anxiousness. There's maybe even been some angry moments for whatever reason. And that overwhelming sense of Hallelujah. losing the shine Hallelujah. for Jesus and not, being, not knowing how to get it back. Where's Hallelujah. the joy? 
The Bible says the joy of the Lord is Hallelujah. our strength. Hallelujah. And of course, the enemy would want to try to take that joy to cause you to lose your strength. But tonight, I believe the Holy Spirit is yes, saying Lord. to you, yes, Lord. don't lose your shine. Yes. When you feel the push down from the enemy, you push forward, forward. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And you are not going to lose your shine. Hallelujah. You're going to shine brighter Hallelujah. than ever before. Hallelujah. You know, we're not shining uh, from a platform and a classroom and all those things like we were doing this time last year. We're not having literally hundreds of workers come through this summer to help us with things but more than ever more than ever more than last summer people are being reached through the ministry so it's a shift in mindset it's a reframing of our focus right. and that's what prayer does we petition heaven with thanksgiving right. to say you know, I I have to tell you that here's another amazing prayer request. So our daughter, who has five kids, three at home, and a lot going on in her life, um, and she needed some help. And she was praying for help, for various practical help, physical help, around the house, different things, without going into detail. Someone, a neighbor, called about having her son come and play, and she didn't really know the mom that well. And she said, "You know, it's okay. No, I need him to help me. He can't. He can't go outside right now." The neighbor persisted, not once, not twice, but three times. And my daughter felt like she didn't want to impose on her. But long story short, the neighbor called back the next day. My daughter was like, "Okay, fine. <laughs> you can come over and help me." It was an angel. This lady helped her immensely. And she said, Mom, I was praying for God to help me, but I wasn't recognizing that he was tapping on my door saying, here's the answer. Let the answer in. And so I'm saying to you, as we pray tonight, you've been praying for an answer. Maybe this prayer meeting is the answer. Maybe praying that you don't lose your shine in the midst of the battle right. is the answer. But God is for you, not against you. Yes. And so as you pray, as you stand in thanksgiving, when the enemy pushes down, you push forward and you are going to experience that victory. Amen. Amen. Mm. And so from our message from last week, we preached on the subject of faith moves our health and the subject for the month. And we dealt with our mental health. And we had so many comments from around the world and over 50,000 people were a part of Sunday's message. And maybe you're listening tonight and you say, man, I could use some, uh, some additional teaching on that subject of discouragement or depression or high anxiety for issues. You need to listen to Sunday's message. You can go to our website and listen to that. All of the messages from June. And, and, and Sunday's message, which will lead us now to our last portion of script uh, portion that we pray for is we now we pray for Sunday services in Sunday services we pray for our worship team we pray for our kids ministry which they have packets now they distribute during the service we pray for the hosting team and all the other ministries and we pray for the ministry as it goes forth in the preaching Sunday I will be preaching a message on our spiritual health you know, it's one thing to have physical health. It's another thing to have mental health, but it's another thing to have spiritual health. And you got to have spiritual health. And so I'm going to preach a message and I believe it's going to just stir you to get in with God, to see God do something supernatural in your life. So this section that we pray for at the end of our time is about Sunday's messages. So will you pray with me for this coming Sunday service yes. here in Rome Hallelujah. that reaches around the world? Would you oh, do that right Jesus, now? We Lord, we thank you right now. Word. God, I first Let of all, I pray word. for all the ministries that oh, will be used in our church Sunday. And God, I pray that God, our technical team, that's going to broadcast this around the world. There'll be no glitches. There'll be no complications. Oh, yeah. That God, it will be powerful. And that God, I pray for our hosting team. And I pray for our ushers. And I pray for our worship team. I pray for our kids team. I pray for, for all the teams that will be ministering and working and serving this weekend. God, I pray that you will use them. 
Help them to put a smile on somebody's yes, face. Help them to yes, be an encourager Jesus. to others. And Lord, though we have all these rules the and King regulations, Savior. that God, you will help use them. God, I pray for the messages that will go forth. The message on spiritual health. I pray right now, God, Italian. that God, as we speak that in English, as the translators grab that in French, and, and Spanish and Italian. Yes, Lord God. God, I thank you that each of those translators will do what you called them and are working on them to do. God, we know that you are using these messages to encourage people and to bring people into the kingdom yes. for such a time as this. And God, I pray that there'll be a, a, a harvest that is reaped this coming Sunday. As this message on our spiritual health goes forth, I pray that our spirit man, those that have been through this COVID-19 and they're struggling a little bit spiritually, that they will be renewed. Those that are hungry and looking for answers in life that God, they will hear this message and their life will be changed forever. God, I thank you for the opportunity we have this weekend to preach this message to the world. And that God, for those that will join us in church, that will register and come to church here in Rome, I pray that they'll have a great seat. And God, they will enter into the fellowship that happens here at our church. But God, I pray that you will use them to be a blessing to others. I pray it in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, I thank you, God, that you are answering our prayers and that you've heard our prayers tonight. And I thank you for such a great weekend that will be a great harvest this coming Sunday. I pray it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for praying with us. We're going to ask for one more prayer tonight. Most of you know that we've, we've been cautious to tell you about my mother. My mother now has been diagnosed with uh, cancer. Uh, this is the second time and it's pancreatic cancer and she needs a miracle. And um, I, I, mom, if you're watching tonight, our church believes in prayer. Our church People from around the world believe that when they talk to God, God's going to listen to them. And tonight, Mom, we're praying for you that God's going to just reach into your your body and is going to heal that cancer. Amen. And so we're going to close our Her time tonight. Joan. Her name's Joan Pasquale. <laughs> That's my mother. And um, I, I just know that God's going to give her a miracle. And, and so, as we're praying for Joan as well, I know that there are others, like I mentioned, our friend, pa Pastor Brandy, who have been faced with a diagnosis of cancer or some very difficult disease that's going to require some things going forward. And we've seen in his story, he's the God of the process. Amen. He's the God of the journey. He's the God of the in-between. And we stand firm in our faith, no matter what comes our way. So, Lord, we agree thank right you, now for Joan Pasquale. We thank you, God, that yes. you cancer is not too big yes, for you. Yes, yes. God, we have seen you heal cancer numerous, numerous times, and we know you can do it again, yes, Lord God. Lord, you yes, still Lord, do yes, move. You yeah. still do move, Lord yes, God. Yes. What you did in days before, you will do in days ahead. And so, Lord, we pray for a hedge of health and strength and, and fortitude in Joan Pasquale as she goes through this next segment of time, that cancer will be healed, that the evidence yes. will show, just like it did in Juliana's blood work, it will show in her blood work yes. that there are markers going down, things are in the normal range. She will keep hearing what she's already heard. You are an exceptional woman for such a diagnosis as this, that you are in exceptional health. And so we are decreeing and declaring yes. for those of you that are facing this kind of diagnosis, that the doctors will say, I don't understand yes. it. I can't explain it exactly. We're going to reduce the dosage because it doesn't seem like you need what Hallelujah. we thought you did. Hallelujah. And cancer is defeated and bodies are healed. Minds are strong. Um, the ability to navigate every Hallelujah. day and every week Hallelujah. is going to be there because each one of you, mom, you and others, we want you to know you're not walking this journey Hallelujah. alone. Hallelujah. We're praying for you. Your name comes on our lips. 
We talk about you, Courtney, I've been praying for your migraines. Your name comes on my lips to Jesus. Eunice, I've been praying for your work that God is going to do it. So we want you to know through our prayer time that we go back oh, and we look at these things. Yes. And we lift you up. Yes. And we are going to, we yes, have yes. seen victories. We will see victories. Hallelujah. We have heard testimonies of victories. Hallelujah. And your testimony Hallelujah. is about to be told Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, friends, for joining us tonight. And one of the things that I want to encourage us as we sign off tonight, it is very important that we take advantage of these moments. And the best way for you to take advantage of these moments is to send this to a friend. Not only like it, but share it. There's two different buttons there for you to push. And we want to encourage you to share this with the world. The world needs to hear people pray. And this is your platform. We're giving you a perfect platform. Mm -hmm. You say, well, they don't understand English. Well, we've had translators on this, on this prayer tonight that have translated a lot of the things we've said. But you can't say, well, I'm not sure if they understand. No, 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 no. It's our job to tell. It's God's job to save. We do our telling, God will do the saving. Amen. It's the same thing. If we do our asking, God will do the healing. Yes. God will do the, but we got to speak. And so I want you to use these platforms that we've given to you, that all you have to do is click a button. It's not that hard. And share this with the world. We want you to sign up again. Audrey, you can put that link in again for the registration of events because these are the ways that you grow your faith. You can do online class, even if you're not in Rome right now. You can do more prayer on Sunday morning, even if you're not in Rome at church. Sign up for these events that are online. You have to have a seat. Sunday, we were able to get everybody in the door. We didn't have to turn anybody away, God, but we were right, right at the mat. Right at it. So you've got to get your registration in, get your seat ready. So they'll put that in the, in the links right now so that you can go online. And so not only register you, but if you're bringing your spouse or your family, you've got to, you've got to count them, okay? So that if you, you thought, well, I'll just register myself and they'll know. No, we don't know. We don't know if you're bringing one person or five people. But please, I want everyone to get a chair. And because of the restrictions, we are limited in space. And the, and the sad thing about it is, friend, I don't have options here. If we meet our maximum, I can't let you in the building. So sign up and you get a chair. And we also want to thank, we've got our leadership team is kind of spreading out a little bit, our, our worker teams. So we know, Mary, I know some of you are at home watching online so that others could come and sit in a church. Thank you for sharing those opportunities. We but all of you don't skip church and say, <laughs> no. well, I'm just going to give you a chair. We want to no, see no, no. you. Show up. We Show want to up. see you. We're back. Today we were in the office. Oh, office was <laughs> open and stuff was happening. Yes. So thank you, church. Thank you for joining us. If you're new to us tonight, just send us a note and say, hey, I want to be a part of what's going on there in Rome. Well, it's really around the world now. And uh, thanks for joining us. We love you. Don't, don't miss tomorrow, don't Thursday at miss noon. Thursday. You are going to love it. Oh, Miss Faust is incredible. <laughs> uh, she, You will love her ministry to you tomorrow. So don't miss this. Don't miss Sunday. Or will, Saturday, kids. Saturday. Oh, my. <laughs> There's so many things. Yeah. But just go online, uh, icfrome.org, and you'll see all the activities there listed for you. God bless you. I pray you have a great week. We'll see you soon. We love you. Ciao, ciao.